Okay, now what I just asked you to do for the talk about the halfway point is draw the R vectors and label them, right? Which means you draw a vector from here to here, call this R1. And what's it equal to? Uh, the, the radius. Mass times gravity. Okay, well you can think radius because of course we're into rotation, right? Yeah. So that's okay. But you know, in terms of the information I've got here, what is now the vector R1? Half the length of the uh, how, okay, how long is it? L, half of L. L, L. So it's L if, L. if this was at the end point, it would be half of L, but it's not. It's at X1. Right? It, the, the absolute value of X minus L over 2. You could do that. Then times what vector? The gravity vector. Sorry, the R doesn't involve the gravity, the, the, the force vector here does. Okay, you're looking for an elegant way to write R1. Probably I times I. Okay. Well, if it's the absolute value of something times I, then it's going that way. So you don't want the absolute value, but you want to get your subtraction in the right direction, right? So it's a good answer. Absolute value is going to give you the magnitude of R, right? Would it be L over 2 minus X1? Again? L over 2 minus X1. Is that going to be positive or negative? Uh, oh, okay. X axis goes this way. Okay, so it would be X1 minus L over X1 2. X1 minus L over 2. There's a good answer, and you saw how to modify it, right? Yeah. Because if you check it out against what your picture is going to be, you'll find that if you did it the other way, it would still be going to the right, even though you don't have the absolute value anymore. So, there it is. Okay? And you see, well, okay. R2. Is what? Uh, L over two plus again. L over two plus x two. L over two plus x two is going to be. It's x two minus L over two. Yeah, it's x two minus L over two. You know, this minus this gives you this, right? So, a little hard to label it in there, I'll just say R2 equals X2 minus L over 2 I. And of course, that's all bunched up, hard to read, but I'll write R3 up. Okay? So tell me what R3 is. It's the V. 